Hi everybody, Don Gianetti from lighting-essentials.com and project52prosystem.com. I'm going to try something here. I'm going to give you a lighting experiment to do. I'm not going to show you results of the lighting experiment. I want you to find those on your own. So I'm going to show you with this diagram what I want you to do and the tools I want you to use. You go and do it with the tools that I'm asking you to use and you see how it works for you. If you want me to come and take a look at what you did, put comments down uh, below. Uh, if it's, you know, if you're watching this a year after I did it, I'm, I'm probably not going to re-comment to you. But if it's within a couple of uh, weeks here of this thing going up, please feel free to comment below with a link to your photograph. All right, so here is what we're going to do. We're going to shoot some bottles. I want you to get a couple of wine bottles. I want you to take the labels off, soak them, use, I think it's called Goo Be Gone. Goo Be Gone. Uh, and that'll take the, the label right off. I want you to spray paint the, the bottles a shiny black, glossy black. Secondary, you can use very dark wine bottles, but I don't necessarily want to see you working with labels. We're just going to use the shape of the bottles. Okay, so get two or three bottles for our diagram. We're going to go with two, two bottles. And we've got our two bottles setting up here on our, our set. I've got one in front of the other one. Um, We're going to be shooting from down below. Right there with our camera. So we're shooting straight across at these wine bottles. You understand we're looking down at the top of the wine bottles, I hope. Okay, so we have our set. This is what we're going to do. Shoot these two bottles. Maybe you put a third bottle over here if you want. I don't, I don't care. Maybe put three in a row, whatever. But what we're going to be working with is the highlight down the side of each one of these bottles. Okay, so the first thing we're going to add over on the left side is a scrim. The scrim, I want you to be able to move it forward and backward so put it on a stand or a couple of stands because you're going to be doing that exercise moving it forward and backwards from the set behind the scrim we're going to put initially a strobe it could be a studio strobe it can be a uh, speed light, but if it's a speed light, you need to put a modifier on the speed light so that you can see it. What I recommend is getting a little, uh, one of those little LED flashlights from the uh, the checkout at Home Depot or Lowe's or Target or whatever. They've got these little like three or four, maybe ten dollar flashlights. Velcro it on the top of your strobe, aiming in the same distance direction as your strobe, so that you can see how the strobe is going to react with your bottles. If you're just putting it back here and you're not being able to see it except every time you flash and make an image, don't do that. Don't even waste your time. You need a modeling light of some sort so you can see where what you're doing. Now this is in, this in and the uh, speed light will be unmodified. Just got a, a reflector on it. And I want you to begin taking shots, but I want you to move the light in close to the scrim so that it makes a very hot spot here. Then I want you to move the light back so it opens up and lights up the whole scrim. Very important to try you know, like a foot away, two feet away, three feet away, four feet away to see how the scrim is going to reflect on your bottles. When you have it in close, you're going to have a hot spot and a gradation in your light. That's good. Move it up, move it down by moving the strobe behind the panel. Move it back and the panel, the reflection of the panel in the bottles will start to get smoother and smoother and not have that gradation. As you move it back, of course, you're going to have to uh, work with exposure. When you're getting your exposure for this with a handheld flash meter, use the dome facing this corner. Don't have the dome face out towards me and don't have the dome face the light. 
have it face this corner so that you get the light on the dome the same way as it's hitting the bottles. Very important, okay? So that's number one. We're gonna move it in and out. Number two, we're gonna move it up and back. Up and back. Maybe stopping at increments along the way to see how moving it backwards and forwards will change the, the bright spot, the gradation on the bottles. Then, that's number two. Then number three, I want you to pull this scrim. Do you see how the scrim is actually lighting up all this area back here? Do you see that? We don't need it to light up this area back here. So I'm gonna have you move the scrim. Sorry, I'm moving. I'm gonna move the scrim right up to where the bottom of the scrim, the edge of the scrim is in the middle of this bottle. And then we're gonna grab our, our light, our strobe, and we're gonna put it right in the middle here, back it up about two feet, three feet, and then do that very same set of exercises. Move it in, move it close, move it back, move it sideways, move it forward, etc. Okay? It's real important that you do this. It's only going to take you about an hour, an hour and 20 minutes, but you're going to learn so much. I can't, I just can't even imagine how, how to tell you how much you're going to learn. Now we're going to put a fill card for number three. We're going to put a fill card over here, number four. I don't, I lost control of the whole thing. Uh, on this side here, we're going to put a fill card. This is a fill card. We're going to bring, oh, I'm moving the light. Sorry. Gosh darn it. Can I move that fill card down so it's even with the scrim? Now this fill card, the scrim is going to be brighter than the fill card, but the fill card will be showing up on this side of the bottles. Here. As you're shooting, angle of incidence, angle of reflection. Boom, boom. We're going to see this bottle is going to re be reflecting that right there coming back into the camera. Angle of incidence, angle of reflection. So we're going to move this scrim with this fill board forward all the way to the front of the set for a shot. Then we're going to move it to halfway in front, then three, three, three fourths. I'm sorry, halfway back, then three fourths back, and then back. And then we're going to go all the way, doing increments all the way till the, the scrim is way in the back. And that's going to change the way the light works on this side of the bottle. But for now, I'm going to put it right about there because that's where I want it to be, okay, for this shot. Now we're going to add a small fill card. I'm going to put this small fill card right back here. I'm sorry, we're going to put it right up here. And I've got to twist it here. We're going to put it just about like this so that we can see what this card does to this part of the bottle. Now we're going to start opening up the front of the bottle with this fill card. The light's coming from the scrim and hitting these cards and the bottles are reflecting these cards in different ways. This bottle is going to reflect this card back here. As a matter of fact, we might even be able to move that card back just a little bit, right, right about there. So it's, it's seeing that edge of the bottle, and that edge is seeing the white card. Most of the white card is being reflected to the back of the bottle, but we're not going to see it. We're only going to see that tiny edge. Now we're going to add this small fill card up here. We can move it around to see how it's going to give us a secondary highlight on this side of the bottle right here. Pretty simple to do. We're going to grab a left side fill card over here, camera left, and we're going to take it back behind the set. And we're going to bring it right into there. Let's move it back a little bit. Yeah, let's move it right to about there actually because now we're now as this scrim creates a very large highlight right here on this side of the bottle that edge of the bottle 
is reflecting dark studio. So we're going to put this white card back there, just picking up a little bit of light from the, um, the scrim here. And we're going to put a little edge down the far side of this bottle. It's just going to separate the bottle from the background. So that's our experiment. If you want to try with lighting up the front of the, the, uh, the bottles, you can do that by adding a front fill card. We'll take that little right side fill card out. and We'll take that front fill card and bring it in here. It's, of course, it's got to be lower than the camera. We'll bring it in here and see what that does. Okay, so we've got three or four fill cards, or two bottles, and a scrim. After you've done all of this, you're going to go back to the beginning, and you're going to take the light away, and you're going to use a softbox. Oops, sorry, I keep doing that. Where is my softbox? And you're going to bring the softbox in close and move it back. And move it back. You may have to flag off this scrim to keep some of that this light from hitting the, the wall back here. Put the flag right about here. You know, just take a, uh, a nice piece of cardboard or what have you that you need to um, you need to keep that light off of the uh, of the background keep this light from hitting the background. So we're going to put a little card right here. We might put a little card right here. Don't block the light from hitting the scrim, scrim though. Just keep them going out like that so they go in. So you're going to do that with the softbox. Now with the softbox, you're not going to have to uh, go up and uh, up and down. You're not, going to, you're not going to have to do this with the softbox, but I do want you to come in close, medium back, and farther back. And move all those cards around as well. All right, so that's my little first challenge. Now, the reason I'm not showing you bottles is I want you to experiment this way blind. I'm not, you know, well, you can look it up. You can Google, you know, wine bottles and see a hundred different images. But before you do that, play with it this way and see what you come up with. Then go, go and Google and uh, I'll put a link down below. Uh, go and Google and see what you come up with, uh, how your images are starting to look like their images. But please do it as, as you know, fresh as you possibly can. Those of you who've been shooting for a few years have probably saw, uh, shot bottles before. Um, maybe you know all this, but this is a great way to get started when you're dealing with studio lighting. And by the way, just notice we're only using one light, just one light. We haven't added kicker lights or any of that stuff yet. We haven't even done a background light. All we're dealing with is the light on the bottles. All right, Don Giannetti, if you want to check me out over at lighting-essentials.com, that'd be great. If you enjoyed the video, why don't you hit me a little thumbs up and subscribe because these videos are going to be coming out twice a month, different ways of lighting. So have a great uh, rest of your day and I'll see you next time.